So it seems like there have been a number of talks on how we can make the hardware more efficient and lower power and faster and to be able to run these machine learning and computer vision systems. And what this talk is about is how we can actually make more efficient algorithms, which is the other way that we can make things lower power and faster and more efficient and run faster on embedded systems. Um, so I'm representing Tandid Vision Science, and we were founded uh, by Ray Dolby and our founder, Richard Friedhoff, to look at illumination as one of the chief factors in the complexity in images and to be able to take illumination and separate it out from an image in order to make, give computer vision a better signal. And this is one example of what we've been able to do and it's an application in the automotive market and it's an application that is quite appropriate for putting into a commercialization system. Um, so just to give you a sense of what we're talking about, so on the left is an original video on the right is what we're calling road vision, which is one of the possible outputs of what we do. And as you can see, I'll back it up. The shadow's gone, and we're doing this in real time. Uh, and it doesn't matter what the shape of the shadow is or what the form of the shadow is. You want to be working in that image on the right if you're detecting lane markers, if you're detecting turn signals, if you're detecting anything painted on the road. So how do we do this? We did not do that. <laughs> we use physics. Okay? We're doing that at 11 operations per pixel. So just for context, we just saw it on our previous talk a VGG8 neural network at 146 million operations per image. That's around 9,000 operations per pixel if I did my math right. So we're doing this in 11 operations per pixel. That means you can use 8,989 operations to do something else. Okay. So our argument is this is a powerful strategy for simplifying computer vision. Use physics to deal with the complexities of your illumination signal, and then use your classifiers on a signal that just contains the information that you want. Right? The fact that the tree is casting a shadow across your turn lane has nothing to do with the lane lines on the road. So let's get rid of that using physics and using our expert knowledge, and then our overall system can make use and solve the problem more robustly with lower computational power. 